guys, um, today I'm going to be doing another Friday 5 and 5! And um, by the way, if you hear any other background noises, it's because my dog's here, obviously, barking away. And my dad's on a call in the other room, so you might hear some other noises. But it's fine. And I also want to apologise if the lighting goes in and out. Um, I was watching my last video through and realised the lighting was a bit dodgy. So I'm sorry if that happens again, but let's just go with it. Um, so today I'm going to be doing something that was requested by one of my friends, Beth. One of my friends? One of my friends, Beth. Uh, which was top five makeup at the moment. And I've got them all here beside me. So I'm going to be telling you. This was a really hard decision because... I have a lot of makeup. I don't know, you can't really see, but I have one of these, which is full of like my everyday makeup. Then I've got another Zoe one, which is just some other bits of makeup. Then I've got a whole big box, which I can't even lift because it's too heavy, full of makeup. So I really do have quite a lot of makeup. But <laughs> yeah, so this was a really hard decision, but. I've narrowed it down, um, some of these, and some of these you will know what it is because they were in my Nixle, but they're my favourites at the moment. So first I'm going to be talking about, um, I'm just going to put them together, oh and just so you know, I may have accidentally of, um, put a little bit more than, if I counted everything individually, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. <laughs> but anyways, I'll put these two together so it's kind of less. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to talk about ooh, is my Naked palettes. They are Urban Decay um, Smoky Eyes and Urban Decay, I think this is number one. I have number three downstairs, but I use these ones way more often, so I thought I should talk about these ones instead. Um, and I absolutely love both of them. Um, they, I feel like they go on really nice. Um, and I'm, um, I'm not very good at putting on the right amount of makeup. I either go full out and look a bit very, like look very dark, or I just put it on way too light. Which is basically today. But you know, <laughs> just have to rock with it. Um, and also, uh, me and uh, like eyeshadows, I'm, I, I'm a bit one of those people who's just like, I'll put a little bit on. I don't want it to look too crazy. But anyway, um, it's a bit messy. But my favourite colours are uh, Smog and Half to Bake, they're the most used obviously, I really like them too, sometimes if I feel like it I'll put a little bit of dark horse on and the outsides um, to contour, but obviously I'm not, a, uh, I'm not a beauty guru so I'm not a makeup genius, I just kind of go, I look half decent and people can see me like this. <laughs> um, but so yeah, that, they're my favourite colours in this one and in the smoky eyes, I really like this one. Uh, this one is the brushes on. Uh, the wrong brush is in the wrong thing. This is the brush for smoky eyes. Um, I find I find I use number one much more, but this one I use a lot as well. And I kind of use the same-ish colours, which is um, dirty sweet and radar. I think it's called. Yeah. Um, I have you, um, which is these two, by the way the brown and gold again but I also oh that's probably not very good to have the mirror there I'll try and cover it um and then I sometimes if I want to again to contour I would put the whiskey this one here um I put that one in it as well, uh, on the sides um but I have also used the grey colours uh if I'm going out uh <laughs> trying to cover the mirror which is these two and um, they're also very nice on your eyes they're good for parties I've used them for parties and stuff so I really, really like both of these. I love the colour and I love the consistency they go on is because whether, uh, like I feel like some eyeshadows just don't come out. These ones definitely come out um, and you can choose whether you want to put them on light or harsh at the same time. So I really, really, really like them. So that's the first thing I'm going to be talking about. The second thing I'm going to talk about is, um, well I've got it in two forms because it is the... Uh, Benefit Roller Lash, which I love, but I have been using the tiny version of it because I think I need another one of these because it's starting to get a bit dry and running out. So I've been using the little teeny version that my auntie gave me, which she got for free. But um, I really like it. It makes my eyelashes. I don't know if you can see my eyelashes today. 
can't really see them, but they make, I feel like they make my eyelashes like really curly. Um, and I, I really, really like these. Um, that's really all I say. I, I like how, how the colour they come in this because they make them like thick black and I quite like that. But they also don't clump too much, so I really, really, really like Roly Lash and I would definitely recommend to get it. It's, it's really good. And um, that's really all I've got to say about it because <laughs> I don't really know how much you can talk about mascara. But anyway, um, and next I'm going to talk about, I, I talked about in my NYX haul, which is uh, my NYX concealer, where I said um, I said that it wasn't, wasn't very good to cover. Um, I've been feeling, I've been using quite a lot of this on my eyes as I still haven't got my benefit back, but I feel like it has been working quite well. Um, my bags aren't too bad today, and um, I did, I was up. Like, it quite late last night so I feel like it did quite well um yeah I would, um this one's like I said in my next haul and uh, it's uh good for like everyday use um and I feel like the more you use of it the more it covers if you know what I mean but I really 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 like it and uh, it's very I feel like this one's a lot quite gloopy but that it's all right like it's not too gloopy that it just like drips. It like stays on your face nice. Um, yeah, I really really like this one. And um, I I'll tell you what colour I have it in. I have it in the fair. If you guys want to get some hold of this, um, it's just the NYX concealer. Oh god, <laughs> just dropping it off. Um, yeah, I just, I really like this one. Um, so next I'm going to be talking about. Oh my gosh, this is my actually my all time favourite piece of makeup at the moment. Um, it's so good. Um, which is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. It is amazing. It looks a bit pale when you like see it. I don't know if you can see. It is so nice though. I'll see if I can put it on my hand to show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see really. But it is absolutely lovely. Can you see? No, I don't think you'll be able to. No, you can't see, but it is so nice. It really, it just puts so much glow on your face. I just really like it, and it's like nice. It's a nice powdery, like, uh, like it's powdery and nice to apply. And I, I, it's like my all-time favorite piece of makeup at the moment. I'm not, I, I, as I say, I'm not very good at like, like going for that my makeup but um now I kind of know how to use like everything in the right places <laughs> and I love highlighter so good um I've got another highlighter which I absolutely love as well I'll grab it which is the benefit highlighter high beam um I got it for my birthday and I love it to pieces but um, it's, when I got this one, this one kind of stopped being used, but yeah, that's basically. I absolutely love the Urban Decay one. I definitely 100% recommend it. Um, it's the, like I said, the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter. Um, it was on the pricier side. It was probably around, I think this was around 20, which is obviously really expensive, but um, it's so good. Definitely worth it. I love it. Um. But yeah, that's really all I've got to say about it. Um, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is... Uh, well, the next two things I'm going to be talking about are all from my NYX haul as well. So I might as well talk about them together. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Super Fat Marker, which is the big eyeliner. And I absolutely love it. I've been really getting along with it. I'm finding it really hard to do my cat eye flicks. But like I said, these are... They're not so good for the fine detail, but they're really good for the line, and they go on super easy. Um, and it is possible to flick. You can kind of see I have done little flicks today. So it is possible to flick, but um, they're definitely better for the the line than the actual details on the side. But I love it. I've been really getting along with it. And as I've said before, me and, um, me and eyeliner kind of uh, have a love-hate relationship. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it. But... With this one, I've had more love days than hate days, so, and that's really saying something because, you know, um, but I absolutely love it, and that's really all I've got to say about it. But I would definitely recommend getting that one. And the next one is also from NYX, and it is 
oh, it's like my all time favourite thing I'm wearing it all the time at the moment which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and I absolutely love it I'll put a bit on my hand so I can show you the colour it is so nice uh, it's kind of a like a it's a bit messy sorry guys but it's like a nudie colour I'm going to call it on my lips at the moment and I absolutely love it I've, I found that my lips really re well, really like mattes and um, a lot of people say how much dry out your lips I haven't really found that I found that they're still quite soft so I've really really been liking them and they also uh, stay on long uh, stay on a long time if it's like everyday use but when I'm dancing so often sometimes it does rub off and give me a bit of a line but it is so nice, I love it. And this is in the colour Stockholm. I would 100% recommend getting it. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX. It is amazing. It's like so, so good. And I think this was quite cheap. I think it was like four, four, four to six pound. I can't remember how much. This one, I don't know how much it was. So I can't tell you about that. This one was around 20, which is the Urban Decay highlighter. I love it. Um, and then my eyeshadow palettes were really expensive they're both like 40 pounds they're very expensive but i absolutely love them and they're definitely worth the money the concealer i didn't buy the concealer for myself so i have no idea how much that one is but that's good the big uh, hi, uh big Rue lash i think when i got it was around 16 pounds so obviously that's very expensive as well but i absolutely love it anyway and yeah, so that's really all I've got to talk about. I wonder how many times in this video I've said I really, really love it. I'm not very good at all this Friday 5 at 5 stuff. I'm just like, oh, I like this one because I love it. I like this because I love it. I like that one because, oh, guess what? I love it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe and all that jazz and leave some suggestions for next week's, vid ugh, next week's video. I love you guys so much and please like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will see you tom not tomorrow. Next. Next time I see you. <laughs> love you guys so much. Please like, subscribe. I've already said all that bit. But yeah. And goodbye.